YouTube. This is Inventory King. What am I gonna do with an empty six foot aquarium, 120 gallons, that I picked up for 60 bucks? I'm gonna be putting fish in it. Uh, first things first, we need to spruce up this tank a bit. Uh, the glass um, has its, you know, calcium deposits on there. It's, it's got uh, hard water stains. Um, I did clean it. Uh, it came out better, I think, uh, not perfect, but when the water's in there, I'm not going to be able to see any of that. Uh, so what we're going to do to start off with this tank is I'm going to paint the background. I use uh, Delta is the brand. Uh, I use the Cermacoat. Uh, I'm going to use navy blue this time. Uh, I was using another blue on some of my other tanks. Uh, I'm going with something a little darker to see what it does. Um, and this is acrylic paint. It's non-toxic and uh, makes it nice and easy uh, to apply and if you need to remove it, it makes it really easy to remove when you use the acrylic paint. So first things first, let's get the background painted. After that we are going to paint the trim and then after that I'm going to silicone the inside and on some of these outside spots um, just uh, to make sure that everything's nice and tight, uh, nice and watertight, and uh, then let it sit for a few days to dry out and then it's fish time. Okay guys, so there we go. Coat one is on the back. I'm gonna let it dry for a while. It's been hot where I'm living, uh, so I know it'll dry quicker. Uh, but give it probably about 20 minutes or so, then throw coat number two on. Okay guys, so here we go, uh, it's painted, looks like it's uh, pretty even, uh, it looks a lot darker in person than it does on this camera, which is kind of what I'm going for, I don't want black and I don't want light blue, I want something nice and dark. So uh, what's going to be next is, as you can see this trim, it's all messed up. I'm not going to worry about in here, but I will on top. I'm going to paint this black um, with the black acrylic paint. Um, so let's get to that. All right, uh, everyone, next step, rocks. Uh, what I did before was um, I leveled it out uh, with some shims underneath here and here, um, and I think one on that side, but um, it's nice and level now. Maybe a little bit tilting back just a smidge, but still level so that when everything gets settled in, it'll be level 100%. Um, so now let's get the rocks in the tank. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is now that I got the rocks in, I'm going to pull the sand out of two tanks. The 55 that I had uh, my show fish before and I just had quarantine for my new fish, I'm going to pull the sand out of there, that tank is coming down. Uh, and then the tank that the fish are currently in also has sand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the sand for both of those since they're going to have you know, a little bit of bacteria on them, and I'm gonna put them in here, and then whatever else I uh, will need, I will get it from one of the bags I got in the garage.
All right, YouTube, so the next thing we need to do is make lids. Uh, people have probably seen this, but uh, this is corrugated uh, plastic shingling. It's like you could use it to extend a deck or something, but uh, you get it at Home Depot. Um, I want to say it was between probably 15 and 25 bucks, but look at how many things you can get out of it. So this tank is in my room. Uh, so we need to build a lid for this side and we need to build a lid on for this side. Now what's really awesome is it's customizable. So here is my input and output on the FX uh, 406 and then the input and output on the Sunson 304B. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, there we go. It's a uh, 34 and 9 sixteenths uh, in length and the width is 16 and 13 sixteenths. That's what I got on the, on the top of the tank. So uh, I would definitely suggest when you buy this stuff to buy a nice pair of cutters. You will need it to get through this plastic. So let's get this sucker cut. Now I've got to make one more and lids are made. I will wash them and put them on the tank. Okay guys, so as you can see, they fit perfectly but the only issue is right here this this sticks up that's a big no-no the sun sun they just these things they don't they're not i don't like how they just don't stay stationary that's the one thing about these that I'm not the biggest fan of but what's really nice is when you have cords like this this is just all stationary or this is all just temporary uh it fits right underneath here so uh, it stays nice and flat. So I'm gonna cut those, wash them, and stick them back on. So as you can see, they are sitting on there perfectly. And they'll hold the light, no problem. See, no issues, cut out. No issues, cut out. And uh, you know, the best part is it's gonna help hold that heat in. Let me get the light, let the temperature warm up more, and then the fish go in. All right guys, there we go. Rostratus, a group of Rostratus. Uh, it's a really awesome fish, the Malawi sand diver. Uh, I've got nine of them in here. A few males for sure, and then uh, hopefully a female or two. Um, I should vent them, but uh, I have to do a more detailed uh, job at venting them to make sure. Uh, but I'm going to just let them grow right now, see what uh, everything's going to look like. But I'm happy with the way the tank came out. I like the dark blue, um, the white sand, and then the gray rocks and the fish. I just think it adds a nice taste. Um, the fish uh, obviously are going to grow well with all this space. They were in a 55 before that. Uh, but here, let's, uh, let's get them some north fin in here and uh, see, what they, uh, see what they do. On the north end. Yeah, you know that they love that stuff. Still settling in. I got them in here just a little bit ago. But, uh, so yeah, this is my uh, bedroom tank. I'm going to be, uh, it's going to be nice to have a tank just chilling here in my room next to my bed. Um, so everyone, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And everybody, stay tanked.